is this going to be another leg down for the market? Welcome back to another video, guys. My name is Evan, and in today's video, I'm gonna break down one of my trades that I took today and what exactly the market is doing today. Um, also, some news that was released. So we're gonna hop in my screen real quick and I'll explain to you guys exactly what is happening. So as of right now, we have SQQQ, which is the inverse of TQQQ. Um, for those of you who have not watched my videos before, I trade TQs and SQs. TQs goes up when the market goes up, um, and then T SQs goes down, or SQs goes up when the market goes down. So they're inverse, uh, inverse ETFs. So at the moment, we are making new highs on SQQQ, which means uh, the whole NASDAQ market is making new lows. We saw a huge push up this morning, right, on TQQQ. I refrained from entering that position because of how overbought TQQQ has been over the past, um, I don't know, four, five, six days or so. So it has consistently been on an uptrend um, this entire time. And we are finally coming back to um, kind of retest this this 15 minute moving average. Um, and I think we're still far away, very, very far away from the hourly moving average, which is very scary with earnings coming up. So uh, just breaking down what exactly is happening today, we ha we saw a small rally up and then we saw a huge push down. So my trade, my trade begins back here with SQQQ. I entered uh, SQQQ very lightly um, as I saw there to be, you know, some possible upside as the market opened um, around this area. I entered very lightly into this position because I knew that direction was not exactly exactly clear yet for SQQQ. So <clears throat> we saw that uh, a small push up and then it began to pull back. I didn't have any fear in my position because it was so small. Um, but once we found a support down here, um, broke above this two minute EMA and this two minute moving average, I began to add more to my position size and I have since locked in profits. I was not able to catch the exact top of that, which is unfortunate, but it's okay because we still locked in profits. So with that being said, why exactly is the market selling off today? And I guess there's not necessarily an exact explanation for this, um, but my explanation would be that over the past multiple days and over the past pretty much week, the market has been extremely overbought. Um, because it, it shouldn't technically be selling off. As you can see, we have the PPI report that came in today. It was lower than expected by 0.5%. So pretty, like a decent amount lower than it was expected um, to come in. <clears throat> and still the market is managing to sell off. And I think that's because of the up and coming earnings. Um, later this week, I talked about this in my previous video, but later this week and next week, earnings will be coming out for some companies for Q4 of 2022, which are not expected to be good earnings, but the market is continuing to rally either way. So it's only a matter of time before we have some sort of pullback. Now, I'm not completely sure if this is going to be the next leg down. Um, like I showed in my last video, we're at this critical point for QQQ and for SPY as well, um, this huge line of resistance here, this purple line here, we were re we reached up to it, right? Or, or fairly close to it, and now we're getting rejected on this day. So um, earnings, will, earnings will depict more of which direction the market is going to go um, further on. But so far, I think this huge pullback is simply because of the um, continuous push up um, from the market the past week or so. Uh, with that being said, uh, right back to the PPI report. So the PPI report is a pr producer price index report. So it is how much exactly producers are paying to make the products that consumers uh, consume, right? So for example, we could take a, uh, a camera. So if a, a producer creates a camera and it costs them a hundred dollars to create that camera now they have to sell it to the consumer for let's say 200 to make a decent profit on it but the more that uh ppi goes up right that means the producers are paying more to create the camera so let's say instead of paying a hundred dollars to make the camera they pay 150 dollars to make the camera now the price uh that they have to sell that camera to make the same profit margin is higher. So uh, consumers end up paying um, 
paying that price that producers have to pay simply because it costs them to, more to make the product. So with that being said, that's that's kind of how the producer price index uh, works. It kind of forecasts what the consumer uh, price index or what the overall inflation is going to be. So with producer price, it, price index going down, it should be overall better for the market. Uh, but I think really the uncertainty here in the market today is the fact that earnings are coming up this week. So uh, I would stay tuned. Um, it looks like SQQQ is trying to push back up again. We'll see if they if it continues to make new highs, which would mean the market would continue to make new lows um, on the day. But it has been a long time coming for this huge pullback. As you can see, um, just on the 15 minute chart, you can see it pulled back and touched that moving average a few times, but barely touched it. Um, and then it spiked right back up. So we'll see what happens with this touch at this 15 minute moving average, if it can hold it and where we go over the next couple of days. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys learned something from this. Hope you guys kind of understand PPI um, and how that affects the market, right? And how it can affect consumers as well. Um, but yeah, hope you guys learned something from this. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below, like this video for more videos like this one. I'll see you guys in the next video.